Yeah, so this is what we've been up to this trip. Just uh, getting ready for winter. It's uh, about halfway through October now, almost, and the weather's coming soon. So, at any rate, uh, we decided to build some skirting panels. And uh, we built them a little differently than most folks are doing. Um, primary reason is we have such high winds out here in the high desert and uh, they need to be able to hold up to it. So, uh, real simple system here. Um, you can see back over here, you got it kind of laid out. The panels are uh, all pretty much built. They're sealed. Um, they both have the same coating on the outside. Uh, one had more white pigment in it than the other can. So that's just how they turned out. Um, it's not a real big deal. You know, nobody's going to see it but us. So. And we'll take them down for summer when we start coming out here. You can see right here, there's a strap um, kind of holding these things together. Yeah, you see on the ground, there's um, some two foot pieces of rebar that I cut. I'll be driving those in and I'll show you where uh, these things are built pretty light so they do have two by fours in the corners so that's where we will be putting the, the rebar in. Over here you see some panels that are built and ready to install. Uh, again these are super lightweight and I'll show you one right now that uh, kind of will demonstrate the construction of them. Now, on the outside, it's just this uh, lightweight sanded plywood that they had at uh, one of the building supply places. It's, uh, I don't know if you can call it quarter inch, but it's pretty thin. It's, uh, it's smooth though, it's all sanded, ready to be coated with whatever you prefer. Um, we got this uh, this uh, outdoor paint for it that's uh, pretty heavy duty. Um, then on the inside of that, we glued panels of this <laughs> aluminized uh, foam board that you see at Home Depot, Lowe's, everywhere else. And uh, we just use uh, like a construction adhesive in a gallon can that was available. It was like $50-something dollars a, for a, a gallon. And it gave us just about enough to do 20 panels. Um, then we had just two by fours on the edges. And then uh, I guess they call it one by fours uh, on top. And you see how we did it? put the two by fours on end so that we could uh, screw into them from the outside. I'll show you real quick here in a second how we did that for the rebar. And that enabled us to uh, screw these boards to it, to the two by fours. Um, one note, uh, we had to drill pilot holes to the one by fours because they were splitting screw it through.
this is what we decided to do with the rebar. Is just drive it straight down, kind of yeah, as straight up and down as possible. And then uh, we got these um, got these little brackets or whatever you want to call them. Uh, I think they're for installing conduit. Uh, they they hold on to it pretty good, and yet they'll allow you to pick up the panel when you want to remove it without having to do a whole lot of work. Just slide right up. So if uh, somebody wants to use the trailer, all we have to do is pull the panels out and uh, we'll be good to go. Now the front of this trailer is a little bit lower than the other one. So what I end up doing is uh, my son and I we cut these panels down, well, this one anyway, and uh, down to 19 inches. <clears throat> All the other ones are 24 inches wide, and that enables us to just kind of slip it in. Still need to just dig up a little bit of the soil from underneath it, and it should fit pretty good. Then we'll drive in the, the rebar to hold it in place. Now, some of the panels, um, are in areas where they would rub like the fender skirts or something else, you know, the wall of the trailer. And that would cause damage to the fenders because they are fiberglass. Um, so what we did is just put these sections of uh, foam tubing over them and just ran a screw through top and bottom. So Keep, it should keep them in place and it um, should prevent any damage to the skirts or any other areas where they might rub on the trailers. This corner kind of shows the flexibility of this um, these tie straps. You can bend them, manipulate them any way you need to to get the job done. And here you can see the end didn't come out quite perfect, but I wanted the panel to be closer to the back of the trailer, so I scooted it in and drove in the, uh, the rebar in tight, and then used the strapping to, uh, I bent it, and then I was able to still hit the 2x4s to tie it all together. 